Welcome to Metal Lector. Today's topic is Eco-Sanoid, which is included in NLE Biochemistry. Actually, six questions asked in Biochemistry portion. So, let's see what is Eco-Sanoids. Eco-Sanoids are basically uh, 20 carbon compound. eco means 20, right? These are the compounds having 20 carbon in it. Uh, basically, eicosanoids are further divided into different categories. Uh, first one is uh, prostanoid, second one is leukotriene, and third one is the lipoxin. Uh, prostanoids are further uh, divided into the prostaglandin, prostacyclin, and thromboxin. Right? Uh, prostaglandin PGE2, PGF2 alpha and prostacyclin PGI2 and thromboxin A2. Uh, so this is basically the uh, ecosa uh, noids. Uh, these, uh, act, uh, these may act as a hormone but there is a, a difference between hormone and the ecosa uh, noid. Uh, these are actually produced almost all the tissues and they act locally. Uh, so let's see uh, what is actually the difference between the omega-6 fatty acids and omega-3 fatty acid. Omega-6 uh, fatty acid uh, includes uh, linoleic acid, gamma linoleic acid, uh, dihomo gamma linoleic acid and arachidonic acid. This is the sequence uh, along which the linoleic acid uh, ultimately form into the arachidonic acid. Right? Arachidonic acid is basically called E costa tetra linoleic acid. Enoic acid, the tetra enoic acid, right? Uh, so this is a uh, form uh, along the. Uh, this is actually the omega six fatty acids, and uh, next is the omega three fatty acids, uh, which includes uh, alpha linolenic acid, uh, eicosa penta enoic acid, which is also called EPA, and uh, docosa hexanoic acid DHA. Uh, so this is the uh, omega-3 fatty acid. Basically omega means uh, as you know that uh, this is the carboxyl group and this is the methyl group. If we count the carbon number uh, from methyl group then we consider it omega but if we count from the carboxyl group, then we consider it delta, right? Let's suppose uh, this is a double bond. Let's see if we count one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, right? Then we call it two omega. We consider first carbon uh, actually bond formed between the second and the third carbon, we consider only the first carbon which comes first. So this is the uh, two omega fatty acids, right? Uh, so this is uh, the uh, actually the uh, fatty acids. Here you can see uh, that arachidonic acid form prostaglandin, right? Uh, 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 but and lino, uh, linolenic acid will also produce the prostaglandin and eicosa pentaenoic acid will also produce the prostaglandin. But what is the difference uh, between uh, different compounds from the same compound which is the prostaglandin? Actually, if the prostaglandin produced by the linolenic acid then uh, uh, the form, then the prostaglandin will have only one carbon which is called series 1. 
series 1 prostaglandin right if the prostaglandin produced by the arachidonic acid then the prostaglandin will have two carbon atom in it and uh, according to this uh, we call that prostaglandin in series 2 right if the prostaglandin produced by the eicosa pentaenoic acid then we consider it in third category series 3 in that situation prostaglandin will have three double bond in it right uh, but the strong potency of the uh, prostaglandin will produce by the series 2 which is formed by the arachidonic acid right so let's see how arachidonic acid will form the prostaglandin and different compounds now here you can see the uh, plasma membrane uh, which is uh, the phospholipid in it because uh, plasma membrane is actually formed by the phospholipids and every cell have phospholipid in it. It means uh, these compound or specifically prostaglandin will produce by every cell, right? So this is the phospholipid. These phospholipid will break. Here you can see a single unit of the phospholipid. This is break by the enzyme which is called phospholipase A2. This enzyme basically break phospholipid into two compounds which is called uh, first one is the lysophospholipid and second one is the arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid also called E. Cosa Tetra E. Noi AC. Right? As we have discussed, uh, uh, the it has four double bond in it. Four double bond in it. Right? And uh, there are two pathways. Uh, which uh, move forward from the arachidonic acid. First one, it will produce the prostaglandin and thromboxin. And second pathways will produce the leukotrienes. Right? Here you can see if the uh, arachidonic acid uh, is break by or cleave by the enzyme which is called the cyclooxygenase, then it will convert into the prostaglandin. G2, right? Uh, this, uh, there are two isoforms of the cyclooxygenase enzyme. COX-1, COX cyclooxygenase, C means cycle, OX means oxygenase 1 and oxygenase 2. Here you can see uh, this enzyme is constitutive. It means it continuously produced by the cell and this is the inducible inducible it means it only released in the case of inflammation right and this uh, cyclooxygenase enzyme convert arachidonic acid into the prostaglandin g2 and this prostaglandin g2 will convert into the prostaglandin h2 uh, with the help of the enzyme per oxidase, right, uh, which will form the prostaglandin H2. Here you can see when the arachidonic acid convert into the prostaglandin G2, uh, the enzyme cyclooxygenase uh, take two oxygen molecules, right. Uh, and when the prostaglandin G2 convert into the prostaglandin H2, it takes reduced reduced glutathione right it will take reduced glutathione uh, here you can see uh, this is a whole complex 
which is called prostaglandin endoper oxidase H2 synthase. This is the whole complex having two enzymes. First one is the cyclooxygenase and second one is the peroxidase. Then further prostaglandin H2 convert into the different compounds. Here you can see uh, prostaglandin E2 which is called PGE2 and this, uh, it, these, uh, this compound may interconvertible between the prostaglandin F to alpha. These uh, both compounds can interchangeable, right? And here you can see the prostaglandin I2, which is called PGI2. Uh, another name of the prostaglandin I2 is called prostacyclin, right? Uh, and here you can see a thromboxin A2. But keep remember, this is very much important that as you know that COX-1 is continuously produced in normal situation. It means uh, this will activate the whole process, right? Uh, and it will form the, uh, there is a chances of the production of the uh, thromboxin A2, right? Uh, it is mostly uh, used in the aggregation of the uh, platelets or it, uh, uh, thromboxin A2 is mostly produced by the platelets, right? And prostaglandin I2 a, is mostly activated by the COX-2, right? Uh, and this, uh, as you know, that uh, COX-2 is, uh, COX is only producing inflammatory uh, situation, right? This will activate only in the inflammatory situation. It means uh, when the inflammation occurs, then uh, COX-2 activate and uh, there is a chances of the production of the prostaglandin I2 and this is mostly occur in the and endo endothelium right this is mostly producing the endothelium uh, so this is all about how prostaglandin is produced but keep remember right uh, this is the phospholipase enzyme uh, which form the arachidonic acid this enzyme is inhabited by the corticosteroid, right? This hormone will inhabit the phospholipase. It means arachidonic acid uh, can't produce when uh, we take corticosteroid drugs, right? Uh, and here you can see the cyclooxygenase having two, two isoform, one and two. Uh, these both forms uh, inhabited by the drugs which include I write it here as pre endo methacine phenyl benzothione and other NSAID non steroid anti inflammatory drug. These uh, drugs. Uh, block both the COX-1 and COX-2 but specifically COX-2 is inhabited by the sericoxib drug this will, this will only inhabit the COX-2 here if the arachidonic acid is convert into the 5-hydroperoxy uh, 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 eco eco tetra enoic acid H, uh, 5 HPETE uh, which convert with the help of the lipoxygenase 5 LO LOX right it will convert into the leukotrienes A2 uh, this is mostly formed in the uh, leukocytes heart and lung cell mast cells right and leukotriene A will convert into the different leukotriene uh, B2 and leukotriene C2 uh, which will convert into the D2 and E2 okay. right uh, that uh, leukotrienes convert into the C2 if the glutathione will add it to them glutathione will add it to them glutathione is basically formed by uh, three components which include 
ब्यूटा मेट सिस्टीन एंड ग्लाइसी यू कैन रिमेंबर इट बाय जी सी जी राइट ब्यूटा मेट सिस्टीन एंड ग्लाइसीन दिस विल कन्वर्ट द ए टू इंटू सी टू इफ द ओनली ग्लूटा मेड रिमूव दैन इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू दी डी टू एंड इफ द ग्लाइसीन विल रिमूव दैन इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू दी ई टू सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ ल्यूकोट्रीन दिस फॉर्म बट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट दिस दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन दी इंफ्लिमेटरी एंड द Uh, hypersensitivity reactions like asthma, right? Uh, and uh, this only blocked by the corticosteroid because here you can see uh, the only if the this if we uh, inhibit the phosphorylase, then it will uh, stop both the pathways, cyclooxygenase pathways and the lipoxyoxygenase uh, pathway. So next uh, we will see the functions of the leukotriene. prostaglandin and thromboxin let's see uh, as we have discussed uh, this is the leukotriene b2 uh, this is involved uh, basically the easy trick to remember uh, that leukotrienes are involved in uh, two thing first one is the inflammation inflammation and second one is the hypersensitivity hyper sensitivity right if you keep these two things then you can solve any problem uh, here this one leukotriene b2 is involved in the chemotactic or it act as a chemotactic agent for white blood cell if you remember that in inflammation uh, that here is the blood vessels and here is the gap between the endothelial cells right uh, in inflammation the gap enhances uh, and the lot of the white blood cell move along the uh, vessels and uh, they will release into the interstitial uh, space right uh, to Uh, destroy all the bacteria, right? Uh, so uh, this leukotriene B2 uh, act as a chemotactic; it attracts the white blood cell, right? Similarly, as uh, white blood cell adhere to the endothelial wall, so this is also involved in the adhesion of the white blood cell. And uh, when they uh, release into the interstitial space, white blood cell uh, release. lot of uh, enzymes so this is the leukotriene b2 function uh, actually if you remember the inflammation then you can solve any problem uh, here you can see uh, as a leukotriene c2 uh, d2 and e2 uh, these are basically involved in as you remember the hypersensitivity then you can solve any problem in uh, what uh, things can occur in hypersensitivity uh, as you know uh, that uh, if the uh, smooth muscles contract uh, then uh, lot of chance that the uh, trachea trachea and the blood vessels will get uh, constrict uh, as you can see uh, bronco bronco constriction and vaso constriction right if uh, trachea uh, if the diameter of the trachea get reduced uh, then the uh, one can't get uh, breathe properly right if the vaso constriction occur then the a lot of chance that the blood pressure enhance in that situation uh, if the uh, vaso constriction or the contraction of the smooth muscle occur then uh, there is a lot of chance that the vascular permeability enhance because in that situation here you can see the endothelial cells right if they contract then the spaces between the endothelium cell will increase and a lot of the chance that the fluid will move into the interstitial space right 
and here you can see this 69 leukotriene as uh, we know that the, there is addition of uh, uh, glutathione at the level of the leukotriene A2 and uh, here a release of uh, glutamate and then uh, this level uh, release of the glycine okay. it means cysteine will remain at the E2 and the cysteine uh, leukotrienes is involved in the uh, productions of the agents uh, which are involved in the anaphylaxis right the uh, anaphylaxis situation and uh, third one uh, it uh, enhances the asthma and the seasonal aller allergies right uh, this is involved in the uh, this is function of the leukotriene c2 d2 and e2 right uh, here uh, this is the prostaglandin uh, uh, thromboxin and the prostaglandin i2 uh, which is also called the prostacyclin have both opposite uh, functions right uh, you can remember it uh, as we know that this is activated by the cox1 and this is the cox2 uh, this is formed in the platelet and this is formed in the endothelium here thromboxin a2 enhance the production of the platelet plug Right? This enhance the, uh, if the injury occur, uh, then if we have to uh, close the blood vessel. And uh, this is uh, enhanced by the thromboxin A2. Uh, but the prostacyclin or prostaglandin I2 will reduce the formation of the platelet plug. Uh, uh, thromboxin A2 will uh, cause vaso and bronchoconstriction because when the injury occur there is a need uh, to reduce the blood flow to the injured side but uh, it uh, do opposite effect uh, like it uh, dilate the blood vessel or vasoconstriction right it dilate uh, thromboxin a2 uh, uh, play an important role in the release of the calcium from the uh, cells they uh, enhance the release of the calcium and calcium is important in the formation of the uh, platelet plug but it, uh, it it function as a retention of the calcium in the uh, cell right and here is the prostaglandin A2 and prostaglandin F2 alpha prostaglandin L2 uh, involved in the vaso and bronchoconstriction right uh, like the uh, thromboxin, vaso and bronchoconstriction, and this is also involved in the contraction of the smooth muscle, right? Uh, and here is the function of the prostaglandin A2, uh, which involved in the vasodilation. It means yeah, uh, here is the vasoconstriction, and here is the vasodilation. Protect mucosa. What mucosa? Gastric mucosa. Because mucosa present almost in entire GIT tract, but it protects mainly gastric mucosa. It also involves in the renal function stability and it uh, promotes the sensation of pain and it is responsible for the fever. But the common things between the prostaglandin A2 and prostaglandin uh, 2F is that it means uh, they contract smooth muscle and it also contracts the smooth muscle. Uh, and if we uh, talk about the smooth muscle, then the main uh, function is on the intestine and the uterine. It means that both of the prostaglandin A2 and have to cause uterine contraction. It means at delivery, uh, these two uh, prostaglandin A2 and prostaglandin F2 uh, alpha are involved because they contract the uh, uterus and are involved in the labor pain. So this is all about the uh, eicosanoids. If you have any question, then you uh, may ask in comment section. Thank you so much.